Senator, what's your impression of the Ashbert hearing so far? Well, uh, you know, I'm hoping that people uh, understand. I think I outlined three reasons that I think these hearings were important, and that, is, uh, which I did very clearly in my questioning, were the people getting the best bargain for their dollar, were they protected, should we have had our own contract in place, and are our environmental regulations being honored. And I think those are questions that need answering so that we know how to do this next time around. Um, I find it a little difficult to actually believe that these folks showed up in New Jersey on October 30th and had a contract signed on October 31st without ever having any pre-meetings, discussions. And the only reason why I bring that up is because if they were here four days before, maybe we could have done some requests for proposal. Maybe we could have said, we'll give you an emergency contract, but we want the rates lower than the 2008 rates. So there's a lot of things that could have taken place. I find it um, unsettling that money went to marketers uh, to sell the services to these 51 towns that, and counties that signed on. That's money that could be used to help our residents. So those are the questions I think we need to answer. It. And uh, I think it, on Ashbridge's side, they're here. Uh, how they're answering the question from, from their own vested interest, we'll all have to judge. The chairman mentioned that this is the first of a series of hearings. Who else do you expect to hear from? I think we want to hear from the municipalities themselves who signed on. I think we want to hear from the administration who might have negotiated these, uh, signed this contract the day after the huge storm. You know, and as I said, a lot of places didn't have, uh, didn't even have telephone or email service. So it was quite a remarkable feat. And, um, I, I think we need the answers to those questions. Senator, thank you.